Hello, my name is Kevin Hall. I'd like to talk to you a little bit about um, how tissue responds to loading and unloading. Um, it's a, a vital component of physiotherapy and recovery, um, and it's one of the major reasons uh, why we sustain injuries. Um, often injuries are sustained when we engage in new activities, um, and in sporting populations it's getting the ratio of loading to unloading or loading to rest um, getting that ratio correct is one of the most important aspects of staying injury free and this is basically the reason why. If we imagine that this graph represents the tensile strength of tissue, so if a strong structure, a strong structure would sit up here and a weak structure would sit down here. If we imagine something roughly in the middle, now if I take the load off this structure then it will undergo gradual, progressive and sustained weakening if it becomes unloaded. Um, and this is called disuse atrophy. And it's one of the major causes of problems in the sedentary population. Now, if I take tissue that's this strong and I add a cyclical load to it, for example, if I go running, where each heel strike provides a force to the structures in the lower limb. Now the structures in the lower limb um, will undergo microtrauma, so that's microscopic injury um, that causes very slight weakening of those structures. And this is an adaptive and an important process. If I then rest for a couple of days before my next run, what my body will gradually do is remodel those structures so that when I do my next run, I'm ready for that new loading. And you can see that what happens if we get the ratio of loading to rest correct, then our tissue will gradually increase in strength. And this is how sports people can become phenomenally strong, not only in their muscles, but in their tendons and in their bones. Now, if we're looking at an injured population, then the tensile strength is going to be down here somewhere. So it's our job to stimulate healing and remodeling by applying the right load. If we go crazy and apply high load, then this tissue is going to undergo repeated injury. So getting the amount of loading right in the early stages of injury is absolutely vital. However, if we don't load it, we will still undergo this process of disuse atrophy and the healing process will be um, frequently associated with re-injury if we don't add enough load to the tissue. Now this is particularly pertinent to sports people and runners. For example, if I have a heavy heel strike and I run 10 kilometres, you can find out a little bit more about heel strike and, and how we can change that in the section on running rehabilitation. If I have a heavy heel strike, my 10k run will be associated with very high forces. So instead of my gradient of microtrauma being here, my gradient of microtrauma is going to be here. If I then undergo the same period of rest, my recovery may be insufficient before my next run of high load to gain enough recovery and I can end up with my tissue tensile strength heading in the wrong direction. Now as physiotherapists it's our job firstly to get the ratio of rest to loading correct and secondly to make biomechanical changes either to your structures so that they're under less load when you perform your 10k run or run changing your running technique so that Instead of delivering these high forces when you're going running, you deliver much lower forces. If you're delivering much lower forces, then you have the potential either to train harder, in which case you'll get fitter and therefore you'll get faster, or you'll be able to run without injury. So it's absolutely vital to get the ratio of these forces correct, both at the early stages in recovery from injury and when you've recovered from injury, then you're looking to train harder to improve your performance.